hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about setting up a WordPress site for free in five minutes so we're going to talk about how can you do that today there's a bunch of different options obviously but we're going to talk about Click eCourse how you can set up a WordPress site there for free you register an account and then you go and click the button to create your WordPress blog and we're going to actually time it that it takes five minutes or less I'm hoping that it will take five minutes or less I I I must I'm I haven't actually tested it live you know how it is that there's always something but we'll see let's go and do that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so we want to create a WordPress site so a WordPress site is basically a website where you can set up blogging where you can create pages you can create menus you can create widgets you can do all sorts of things and you can do that by simply clicking a few buttons to get your site ready so I'm actually going to show you right here I'm actually going to show you right here what a, my blog looks like let's just share the screen so on my blog right if I if you just go to johnsergangle.com that's a wordpress site it's actually a website where you have um you know you can put a little video here you can put uh, some links to capture pages you can and then it just shows all the posts that you've done it shows you what it is and you can choose what the page looks like based on a, what they call a theme and then you can have plugins and then, anyways it's very customizable it's also scary and overwhelming to most people who aren't techno geeks like me right so if you're not technical and you don't like all this computer stuff you're gonna love that it can take five minutes to set up your blog on Click eCourse all right so how do we do that first of all Click eCourse is right here right so first let's just uh, put the link right here so you would go to clickecourse.com and you would see this page right so we're gonna do that we're gonna actually do the timing right now we're gonna go so basically the process is you register an account number one you get the registration email you click the link to activate your account then you go to your profile you go to the blog your the blog tab you click the button to create your blog and then you access your blog so these are I, I just kind of counted the steps here but it's pretty much that's simple so before we go I'm actually going to set up a timer on my phone so that you can we can see that we have the timer for five minutes I'm going to set it to five minutes right here my phone doesn't have a you know really great it's it's just got a thing like this on my phone I don't know if you can see can you see so we got I set the timer right there to five minutes right five minutes so I'm actually going to start the timer right now and then we're going to see how well we do okay so there you go it's gone it's gone so first what you do is you register your account so you go over here you enter an email like for example I'm going to go for blogger 2 because I already tested with blogger and I'm going to just put a password in here whatever password suits your fancy whoops I got it wrong see I'm going to take longer because I'm making mistakes so I click on the register button uh oops are we logged in that's weird why is it saying I'm logged in see there you go so this is one example of what happens when you're trying to rush something and it's why is it saying I'm logged in I'm not supposed to be logged in I am logged in I'm logged in as myself okay so I'm going to log out log out make sure I'm logged out reload the main page let's just go here okay so I'm logged out I am logged out let's reload this I'm logged out I'm actually going to start the timer over because it really doesn't seem fair that it took me a minute to mess up <laughs> so let's just stop the timer and restart it I'm going to restart it again right now at five minutes okay so five minutes and start all right five minutes it's going for five minutes all right so like I said you click on the register link you enter your um your email in here and this is kind of a uh, and put a password and then you click the register button 
now that'll tell you your account created check your email and go activate your account I'm just going to not activate these things I'm just going to go with this the account is there but it's not active I go to my emails I see an activation email right here and I click on the email and I will see an email like this you're going to see an email like this with a link like that you just click on this link and then it'll activate your account and log you in right successfully activated your account and now you are logged in so I'm actually I'm actually forgetting that you can't see the whole screen so let me just resize this a little bit you can actually see the whole screen I'm going to move this up a little bit oh, that's good actually we don't want this here let's just move that up over here there so that's what the page looks like all right so now you're on the page you're logged in and if I go to say for example this page I can see um uh, the about right I'll see the about page but you can see that I'm logged in right here so I'm just going to click on this and then I'm going to go to the blog tab right up here of course you want to set your name you want to set things like that over here the name's going to show up it's not going to show up as my name because that's just my browser remembering things I'm going to say bloggers bloggers blog it can be whatever you want you can change it later too and I'm going to set the admin the email of course is blogger2 and the password I'll just set the same password and then I click to activate it now that activates the blog that'll take you know 30 seconds we're at two minutes 54 right now two minutes 54 can you see that right there two minutes so there's two minutes 45 seconds left so now we have our blog created and then you can access your blog I'm just going to open that in incognito so you see what it looks like obviously when it first gets created there's nothing in there it just says hello world whatever but you got a blog that's activated you can go manage your blog right here so now what we do is we log in using the user and password we created for the blog account and now we have our blog so now let's go and see uh, the theme for example let's change the theme to this theme here and we're going to activate this theme and if I go back to the uh, page that's not it that was it do I not have it I closed it okay if I go back here I'm just going to access your blog right here now as you can see it's not the same blog as it was before but it still says hello world and we can create our own we can change the uh, that's my my blog okay over here we can change we can actually add a new theme we can just go right in here and we can search for whatever themes we want or we can go to the popular themes or the latest themes and we can install and activate say for example you want to install something similar to my blog which is this one here the news up I'm going to install this and then I'm going to activate it and now when I reload my blog when I go back to my blog right here and I reload the page now it's this theme instead right it's this theme with the different settings now what what else can you do right I mean there's a whole bunch of other things but like I said look we have a minute to spare it took us four minutes to set this up one we still have a minute to spare we took it took us four minutes to set up our blog now we still want to create content we want to create a page let's say for example we go to our, our blog here and we want to create a page we go to pages right there and then we say new add new page and we're going to say uh, about me for example about me I'm a blogger and I love to blog I'm from from a city a city you know well let's connect find me on Facebook at etc okay so we let's say we just have a page like this about me I'm going to actually add an image right here let's go over here I'm going to say I want to add an image um, in my gallery upload and let's just uh, take one of these ones this one here it doesn't really matter now I've got this image in here that I'm adding to the blog which is just a picture well this one is a uh, so it's a picture there and then I'm going to publish it there you go our time is up our time is up but we've done the blog um, within five minutes obviously so now we have this page that's published and if I go to and now that page is not going to show up I have to go back here 
and I have to add it to my menu let's say for example uh it's just it's loading is it oh I didn't whoops sorry I didn't click the right thing there okay so I go back to the to the to the wordpress uh dashboard here I go into my appearance and I'm going to go for example menus and I'm going to add a menu first I gotta I gotta create a menu so top menu create a menu and I want to have in here I want the about me in there and that's it for now I'm just going to save this menu right then under under manage locations at the primary menu I'm going to say top menu I'm going to say save and then when I go back to this page and I reload this you see that now we have the about me right here which I can click on and which takes me to this page that I just did so that's that's really <laughs> that's really that now what else can we do let's uh let's go let's say I want to uh create I want to um I don't know there's a whole bunch of things you can do too let's uh, let's create a post let's create a post I'm going to add a new post I'm going to say so this is a uh, post number one welcome welcome whoops welcome to my blog every week I will create a new post about x you are welcome to join in the conversation let me know what you'd like me to talk about right so that's a that's a post I'm going to create this post I'm going to publish it uh, and then when I go to the page right over here if I go back to home right here now we have another post it's called post number one I don't have a and then this one has see how it shows how a world now let's do something else let's go back here and go back to the list of posts and let's delete this hello world we don't care about this it's a test right so I'm just going to trash it and if I go to the pages over here I don't care about the sample page I'm going to trash that too <clears throat> all right so now if I go to my posts I can actually go to this post here and I can set featured image I'm gonna just uh um, I can just put this one here right it doesn't really matter <clears throat> update now when I go back here if I reload this page we'll have just a single post which is with my picture right here post number one I can create a second post let's go over here let's create a new post add a new post we're gonna call it post number two this is all about number two how do you do number two <laughs> obviously you don't want to have that in the blog but let's just do that let's just uh, go back here I'm going to say set featured image I'm actually going to upload a file select files and then I'm going to go to another uh, one over here I got these things I did uh this one here and there's another post set the featured image and then publish and then if I go back here and I reload now you can see there's two posts I got post number one post number two and the way this theme works it, it kind of gives you a carousel of the post uh, the pictures so if you have up to I don't know it's, it's up to five I think but there's probably configuration but that's just the theme the theme works like this if I go in here and I don't really like this theme because it's too too busy there's too much stuff going on I want something more simple I can go back here and I can go into the themes uh, appearance themes right and I can say I want something more simple let's just look for something simple let's go back in the themes um, popular and then I say say this one here I just want to install this one it's a basic one more basic maybe maybe not I'm not really sure but let's just I can do a live preview too I can look at it and see if I like it before I actually make it live right so this is what it'll look like it'll be like this right so I'm going to say activate and then when I go back to the blog right here and I reload there it is now my blog has changed now it's got this and I still have the about me menu right here that's kind of how it works um if I go back in here and I say um 
okay that's good I'm happy here let's close that I'm going to go into pages and I'm going to create a new page let's say I create another page and then I create this uh, let's say work with js you can find all well let's just say uh, just uh, I I can help you with x uh, I can either do a or b your choice uh, let's let's talk right obviously you want to have something that's a little bit more than that let's say you're let's say you're doing uh let's I'm just gonna I'm doing this just to kind of show you if I go back here and I create another page and I'm going to say uh, schedule oops we we are open open Monday to Friday we are open to Monday 9 a.m to 4 p.m Tuesday 9 a.m to 2 p.m Wednesday 11 a.m to 7 p.m okay so whatever right Tuesday now I'm just going to save that and so the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you how you add more pages to your menu right if I go back here and I go into my appearance under menus I can go back to this top menu right here and I can add the schedule and the work with js and then I save the menu now if I go back here and I reload this page now we have the three entries right here right so that's kind of how you set up your menu again like I said if we want to change the theme maybe we don't like this theme maybe there's still not a theme we want so we can actually search for simple uh whoops admin I gotta go to admin first search for simple right so we have all the themes that say they're simple well, whatever that means right simple days let's install this one this one looks kind of nice let's install this and there's the simplest right here and I'm going to activate it then I go back to my blog and I reload this and now I've got this theme instead right it's got these posts and my menu is still up here the schedule's right there uh, about me is right here right home is right there so and look at that this one has this list this movement when you mouse over things but every theme has different to different layouts different things you can also organize like see how we have here these uh, these things on the side we can change that if I go here and I go in the customize widgets uh, right here it shows me that the right sidebar has all this stuff in here what if I don't want to have archives I just delete it uh, I don't want meta I don't care about people being able to log in they don't need to know about this uh, let's take the recent post out and let's take the recent comments out there so now if I reload this page you'll see that all this is gone all that's there is just categories and the search is still there and you can add things to your widget I can say let's say for example I want to add a video I just put that here add it right there and I'm going to actually add a video and insert from URL let's uh, go find a your a video from my from my channel let's take this video here and let's go back to here and put that here whoops I guess you gotta take the whole thing out add to widget and then save it so now when I look at my blog on the side here I'm gonna have a video so you can have a welcome video just like I have on mine right so you can do that uh what else what else can we do that's uh, easy to show you so that uh, in here you can also do things like an image right I can have an image I can add an image here and I'm gonna put uh, this image here uh, this one here and what you can do with the image let's just minimize this one I don't need to see the rest I can actually link to let's say the URL 
why didn't I actually we have the, the link to that so save that and now when I go back to my blog here I would have this image which if I click on it takes me to the YouTube video right if I want and this one here if I click it it'll actually just play the video hey right? you'll just play the video right there you can see what it's about and whatever it is it's, it's like on my blog I have a welcome one right if I look at here I have a welcome blog right here right here I have a welcome intro and then I have these images that take to capture pages if I click on this for example it takes me to uh, this capture page that gives you this free ebook that I'm offering people right so you can do that too you can create capture pages um but uh but yeah that's a different topic let's see what else these are all the things you can do right you can even have a calendar if you want in here whoops let's put that calendar right there and let's just say done and let's go back here I, I've never even used it. I don't know what it looks like it's probably just today's date or something oh okay hmm. that's interesting it just shows today's date I guess that's kind of interesting uh, what else can we do we can do there's there's categories custom html which is basically any code you want an rss feed tag cloud you know all these things you can do right the text I can put just a text here saying hey there hope hope you have a great day save there we go if I look at this and I reload the page now I have this hey there I hope you have a great day right there in my text right so I mean you can do all these different things your widget you can also set <coughs> bottom widgets uh so for example this is just one of the widgets right so there's all these page widgets. the left sidebar for laptop is probably a separate uh, thing for this particular and there's a whole bunch of different uh, widgets here uh, these are basically what they mean by these is this is the right sidebar the left sidebar left footer so if you have if you go to your theme customize your theme you can do things like uh, set up your page so that there's a right sidebar and a left sidebar that depends on the theme uh, so I'm not sure if this theme has that but it, like I said it depends on the C sidebar footer header so let's go to footer see what the footer lets us do layout I want a footer like this publish I don't know what that really is going to make a difference is it uh, okay and then what can I do widget uh, menu logo credits widget title I don't know see I don't know what any of it so there's lots of that's the thing right with the themes you're going to find that they all have different things you can do some some you can do certain things that will go on and that, as you can see right here it gives us this little thing you can they talk about this Yaman add-on I don't know what that is but it's a plugin for that theme uh if I go to um if I go to the themes I don't know is there a, um, if I go to the theme I'm using which was one right here I can click on theme details right there and it kind of tells me what the theme is all about um it's a child theme of simple days right simple days plus and under what the widgets oh that's no that's not it okay I thought that was a but but yeah so you can do so much with WordPress but like I said it's as simple as going to Click eCourse registering an account and then clicking the button to activate your blog once your blog is activated you can see the URL where the blog is at you can change the path here from whatever the default is which is usually the user id um, and you can set your and you can set the admin user you can also delete your blog I can just delete my blog poof like this yes I delete it and now that blog is gone there's no more like if I try to access it here it's gone and it gives me the option to recreate it if I go back here I reload this it'll just say page doesn't exist right uh, interesting I guess I have to fix that oh I know why there's a but anyways that's the thing the point is that that should be gone now should not be uh, re responding I'm not really sure why it's still working but uh, I have to d clean it better but but yeah so that's it's as simple as that you go in here you can set the uh, username for the blog 
you can set the email address for the blog admin it's separate from your account you can have two different ones or use the same one the password is a separate password from your account here if you are on this site and you're forgetting your if I log out here and I'm logged out back here oh I keep I keep forgetting this is definitely something I have to um <clears throat> so if I uh, click on login here uh, you can say I forgot my password I forgot my login if you forgot your login you can put uh, your user let's say blog and it'll give you a list of the users and their names and you can click on one of these links it'll send you a reminder email with your user id um, otherwise if you uh, forgot your password you click on forgot your password you need to put in your username so blogger2 send reset link it'll send me an email uh well actually the user doesn't exist it's not blogger2 let's say at, at fx with my email right? it's either my email or my username and if I don't know what my username it won't work so now it's sent me a password reset email to here if I go to this and I go back to my inbox you'll see there's going to be an email here I have a whole bunch of things isn't it interesting password reset on click eCourse it sends you a link here with a special code that that's good for two days uh two days then when you click on it it just um resets your password to some random value right so it'll reset it to this and then you got to go change your password to something that you really want to use so I'm just going to go here copy that change my password and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say my new password whoops and then save my password and that's as simple as that now I have a pa now I've set my password for my account I'm not going to worry about that and I'm back to my account right so I mean all this stuff is all and there's there's a leader page and things like that and there's a feed on this site that lets you see what's going on in the on the site people changing their creating courses adding courses that kind of stuff because it's a course it is a course hosting site uh, but like I said the the WordPress is a bonus it's free you can set up a free WordPress if you look at the plans here you can see the different things that you can do on the site and if we just look for a say blog on the page there's a couple of things uh, in the free plan you can have your own blog site but if you pay the additional you can get your own domain uh there's a whole bunch of other features that you get when you you pay for the beginner plan which is just 10 bucks a, 10 bucks a month or a, or 100 bucks a year right but anyways that you don't need that if you're just trying to set up a free wordpress site you can you just use a free site right and uh yeah so that's you know that's how you set up a free wordpress site in five minutes you go to clickycourse.com and you do that and you can set up your blog in just a few moments right just go to clickycourse.com click on the blogger link and then you can create your own blog like this really really quick uh, or a blog like this right whichever one that you like to see either a blog like this or a blog like this a simple simple blog like this or like this right complicated setup like that all right so hopefully you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time